everyone welcome to today's lady flavor tv show on win tv i am your host tina williams aka lady flavor in the studio with us today a very special guest Hi. hello it's mrs michelle mercado reitz yes, am i saying it correct yes awesome Louis. Thank you so much. It is definitely my pleasure having you as a guest on today's show. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Tell us, um, you run a company by the name of Light of Hope Ministries. We have a ministry, Light of Hope Ministries, yes. Awesome. Do. Tell us about Light of Hope Ministry. What do you do there? So Light of Hope Ministries is all about encouraging, educating, empowering, and embracing women. Just really loving on them, meeting them where they're at, giving them information, providing them um, with love and with uh, humility, not judging, not condemning, because, you know, we have a lot of that in the world already. Yes. So we do a lot with women. Light of Hope is not just for women. It's for youth, for families, for everyone. Very nice. But one of our main focuses is um, women. And so every other month we do an event, and we have our fifth annual Women's Conference coming up on Saturday, April 20th. Very so nice. So we're excited about that. And where will your conference be? The conference is going to be at uh, Raymond Hill School. It's 345 Linwood Street, and that's in New Britain, Connecticut. Oh. So um, we've been doing it there every day, every year, with the exception of last year. They have been our biggest sponsor for our event. Wow. Um, so we're really blessed in that aspect. Oh, man. And what is the main focus of your women's conference? So the main focus, every year we have a subject and a title. So yes. this year's title is intentional, it's impactful, and it's wow. irrational. And so that's the mm. title. And um, the subject is really to listen, to learn the lesson. Amen. Right? So there's always a lesson once we listen, when we learn to listen, because a lot of times we hear, but we're not really listening, right? Amen. I totally agree with that. So, yes. And I myself, I'm guilty of that because I always have so much going on in my head. And a lot of times you could be talking to me and you're like, Tina, did you hear me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. And how can people reach out to you for so, tickets? Um, you can go on our website and our website is www.lohministriesnb.org. And um, you can register there, and it's a free women's conference, 13 wow. years and over. And um, we're also seeking vendors. So if there's any vendors or resources out there, you're more, you still have time to register. And um, we have three guest speakers. We have an MC, and her name is Jamika um, uh, Jamika Cost. She just got married, oh, wow. and she's our MC, and she's actually from Windsor, Connecticut. Yeah. <laughs> and, she ministry and she does a lot with um, women as well. And then nice. um, we have another guest speaker. Her name is Carla Medina. And mm. she is um, all about empowering women in a great way. She works out. She takes care of the wow. body, mind, and soul and spirit. She's all about empowering and educating women as well. And that's Carla Medina. And then we have... Um, Pastor Paulette Bowman. She's actually from Windsor also. Oh, wow. So um, she's very encouraging, very humble, very loving. She's going to bring a great word. And then, obviously, I'll be speaking as well. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Absolutely awesome. And thank you so much for sharing the information with us. And I would like to ask you, what inspired you to continue on with your journey? You know, it's a calling that God gave me. It's mm -hmm. um, the Lord called me. Women follow women, and women are full of depression, anxiety, fear, worry. Oh, They're um, struggling being a single mom, right? Yes. They're struggling in their marriage. They're struggling with domestic violence. Mm -hmm. So where do women go um, to learn that they don't have to go through these situations and to also learn to have faith in God, you know? Um, my ministry is all about a relationship with God. It's not about religion. Religion doesn't save you. Religion doesn't um, help you. What helps you is having a relationship with God. And so that's what we built, like to build. We like to build women by having a relationship with them, getting to know them, getting to meet them where they're at, being able to help them with whatever situation that they can. And yes. so we bring these conferences um, and guest speakers to let them know that they're not alone in whatever situation they're going through. Oh, and that there is resources and people out there that truly care for, for one another. Mm -hmm. And one of the great things about these conferences is that you get to network 
business people, um, business women get to network with one another. They become friends. And we have been growing every year, which is very exciting. So we're Amen. really looking forward to having a full house. We have had um, more registries than we ever had so far this wow. year. So if you really are interested, I, I suggest you go. Uh, you can also go to our Facebook page, which is um, Light of Hope Ministries on Facebook. And you can be, you'll be able to uh, register there as well. Very, very nice. Are you still affiliated with Coho? Coho, yes. Coho is on standstill right now. Um, absolutely. We're still... Uh, have that but it's something that is going to take a little more time than when we yes. expect it but we know that god is in control and we Amen. know that when god has placed a desire in your heart he's going to fulfill it because his word says you know um i have placed a desire and i'm going to fulfill it i'm going to come it's going to come to pass and so um i just really want to encourage the women to come out this april 20th Mm -hmm. It's from 9.30 in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon. We're going to have worship music. We're wow. going to have um, spoken word. We're going to have dancing. A little bit of everything, right? So we want to have women be very entertained. We're going to have raffle tickets. Yeah. Um, free gifts and baskets. So it's something that, um, you know, come as you are. You don't need to dress any particular way. Um, it doesn't matter what church you go to. We have people from different denominations that come and enjoy yeah. the conference and they bring other people the following year oh. so it's really um we're very excited this year i'm very excited because i i'm looking for the outcome of this conference and what god is going to do with the title alone if you think about impactful yes. all the things that god did that were impactful if you think about how he's so intentional right yes. and if you think about how irrational things may seem in your life and in the situation that are going around you. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you something. One of the things that the Lord has shown me, because I've been going through this journey, um, taking care of my parents and now mm -hmm. moving and moving them out of their home. And just a lot of stuff has been going on and, and my mm -hmm. health. But I'll tell you, I know that God is intentional. Yes, and he I is. know that at this conference, there's going to be something extremely impactful. Wow. I just feel it in my spirit. Yeah. And it just may seem like it's so irrational having to go through so many trials and tribulations, right? Mm -hmm. So many tests and temptations. But I'm telling you, you have to stay encouraged. You have to be excited because God has greater things for you. Yes, and he so, does. whatever it is that you're going through, I want to encourage you today. Just, just stay the course. Just walk in faith, know that God loves you, know that he's here for you, and he's intentional. He's testing you to see if you're going to trust him or give up. He's, and then the, then the enemy is uh, tempting you to give up and to be angry and frustrated. Yes. But, um, you know, God, if you think about, it was irrational for God to ask Abraham to go to the mountain and sacrifice his son. Oh, right? yes. But when he got up there, God was intentional, and it was impactful because he... Abraham believed God, and he was considered mm -hmm. a, uh, righteous. Yeah. And so he took him to the mountain, and then the Lord said, "No, I, I don't need you to sacrifice your son. I was, oh. I was trying to see if you were gonna believe me, trust me." Yes. And, me. and so the Lord, obviously, you know, that's the promised son. So nothing happened to him, but that happens with us. We God is testing us to see if our faith is gonna be stronger than our fear. Oh man. Right? I love that. Amen. I love that. Right? Is your our faith? faith has to be stronger than our fear. Oh man. Oh man. I definitely receive that. Because I myself have been going through some challenges myself. And it takes very warm, kind, inspirational woman, spiritual woman like yourself to help bring me back on course. Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. My pleasure. We're gonna go to a brief break and then we'll be back with more of the Lady Flavor TV show on Win TV. Welcome back to today's Lady Flavor TV show on Win TV. I am your host, Tina Williams, aka Lady Flavor. And in the studio with us is the beautiful Mrs. Michelle. Welcome back to hi. Lady Flavor Show. Hi, hi, hi. Hi there. Do you have any upcoming projects that you'd like to discuss with us? Yes. So, as I mentioned earlier, we have the Women's Conference, which is April 20th, and that's going to be at 345 Linwood Street in Britain, Connecticut, from 9 30 in the morning to 3 30 in the afternoon. 
Very and nice. And it's free and it's 13 years and over. So if you have a teenage girl, bring her. We also have a beautiful, a wonderful one day retreat that we have been doing. And this year it's going to be at Enders Island. And that's mm. going to be on June 29th. So save the date. We go by the shore. We do yoga. Wow. We do Pilates. And not Pilates. I'm sorry. We do yoga. Um, there's massage table there. I uh, oh. massage ta- uh, chairs. Um, we have a great guest speaker. We have some time to ourselves to journal and just take a walk on the beach. It's just beautiful there. Oh, so that's on June 29th. That's a one day retreat. Again, mm-hmm. if you are interested, you can go to our website www.lohministriesnb.org. But we also have a missions trip that is coming up. And I know it may seem like we still have time for that, but this mission trip is dear to our um, our heart. Amen. And the mission trip is to Uganda. It's to orphanages. It's in Africa. Mm-hmm. And so um, we are scheduled in the name of Jesus to go at the first week of June, if all goes nice. well. And so the goal is to... Um, they're creating a, 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 a building, a bigger building for the orphans. Very I want you to nice. say, um, I want you to know that we take life for granted. We think that we have it bad. And I'm going to tell you, these orphans have no water, have no light. Oh. They sleep on the floor. And um, they're filling up so quickly that there's no room for them. So they're really one on top of the other. Oh. They have no shoes. Um, they eat a meal a day. Um, oh. They bust them to a little other area where they're um, teaching them. They're going through school. Oh. And so... Um, the girl that I'm going with, her name is Melissa LeBron. She's from, um, she is the founder of um, AIM, which is Angels in Ministry. All about okay. healing, all about deliverance, all about uh, be- making a difference unto others. So Light of Hope Ministries, God has placed in my heart for us to be a covenant to them, to partner yes. with them, and to, be, you know, help her with this because it's a, it's a big project. So uh, our goal for this year is to uh, raise and get a, uh, at a minimum of 100 pairs of shoes for children. Wow. That's a minimum. A minimum of, of 100 pairs of shoes for the children. And then obviously uh, we're going to be discussing how else you can participate, you can collaborate. We want to make sure that they have clean water. That's so That's hard. That's important. That's something that we, yes. we take our water for granted. But making sure that they have clean water, um, bathrooms, yes. you know, um, if they can have a cot that we can provide for them so that they can sleep in it, you know, just a small little uh, thin cot, something for them to, so that they're not sleeping on the on ground. On the floor, yeah. On the floor. It's heartbreaking. So that's going to be in December, but right after the, our women's conference in April, we're, os- we're actually going to announce this okay. at our women's conference. And we're going to have this on our website after April 20th. All the information, you can donate um, monetary. And all of this, we will make sure that we show everyone where the money is going to so sure. that people are not saying, no, oh, you know, you're trying to pocket it. But it's yeah, all about so the kids. Important. It's about helping not just the kids, but the teachers and, and the pastors that are doing this as well, that God has led them to um, to do this, this, this missionary, you know, this mission trip. Yes. So we're excited about what God is doing. We're super excited about trusting God and Him doing greater things. Yes. And so we have a lot of pain here in our backyard, but there's so much greater pain that are missing. And and I want to share something. I just felt led to share this with you. Um, a lot of times we say, you know, how can God allow these things, right? Yes. Because we doubt. We question God. God, why are you allowing this? And the truth is that we're allowing it. Because we are extremely blessed. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says, you know, I comfort you so that you can comfort others. Amen. He told, he he actually, God also told Abraham, I have blessed you so that you can bless others. Amen. So when we see other people that are homeless, that are addicted, that are going through situations, we shouldn't be saying, why is God allowing this? We should be saying, how can I be a blessing? Amen. How can we turn um, the solution around? A lot of times people say, I have a problem. And we say, well, what's the solution, right? Give me a solution. How can we be a part of the solution? Because if we're going to talk and talk and talk and criticize and complain about what's going on out there, and we don't take the initiation of stepping up and doing something about it, then it's just as much as our fault than anybody else's, right? I totally agree. And I grew up poor in Jamaica, but 
not like this you know sleeping on the floor i just cannot imagine any no child water, no, no water no lights oh man that is just too much and if there's anything that we can do through the lady favorite radio network or the fighting peace campaign please let us know Absolutely. and we'll do our best Absolutely. to help we would love to have you partner with us we would love to have anybody who has it in the right heart Yes, because a lot of times we have organizations that they want to be a part of it, but they want to make it all about them. And this is something that we need to mm -hmm. learn to decrease so that God can increase and his glory can show through. Because oh, this man. is all for God's glory. This is all about what God is doing through us. Because yes, we can do nothing without God. No, we cannot. So oh, man. it's all about um, giving God the honor and the glory and just mm -hmm. moving in faith. Because oh, a lot of times we say, I have faith, but we're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we see someone who's in need and we will be like, oh, God bless that person. But we're not getting oh. up and giving them the shirt off our back. We're not getting up and giving them a nice hot meal. We're not giving them a dollar or two. And people say, oh, that's their fault. Or no, they'll it's say, not. Um, just ignorant stuff, right? Mm -hmm. well, but the truth is we all make bad choices. Yes, we do. We all fall short from God's glory. Oh, man. But it doesn't make us better than anybody else. And one thing I do know from experience is no one know what tomorrow may bring right absolutely my mother used to always say today for you and tomorrow for me we don't know I mean anyone can have a fire in their home anything you can lose your job anything can happen at any point in anyone's life that could bring you from high to low so we I do agree with you you know and I myself have a heart sometimes I wish I can do more to help people I feel like I'm limited and my hands are tied but you know what with God all things are possible Absolutely. and it's, and it's all about coming together you know oh um, you 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 one of the gifts that you have is that you bring people together Thank and you. you by you doing the show you're sharing you know people get to Amen. see they get to hear they get to help if they want to and so it's all about collaboration. It's all about coming together. It's not about what I'm doing or you're doing, but what can we do together? Oh, man. Right? I respect that. Absolutely. Yes. Because the eye can't tell the ear, I don't need you. Just like the hand can't tell the foot, <laughs> I don't need you. We all have different parts of, of mission and different uh, desires in our heart. But if we come together, then we can do greater things for God's oh, glory. Oh, man. I totally agree with that. And please tell our audience again the name of your website, how they can reach sure. out, and how they can receive more information regarding sure. your conference. So, again, uh, I'm the pastor for Light of Hope Ministries. Uh, it's uh, You can go to www.lohministriesnb for New Britain. Dot org. You can also go to our Facebook page, um, which is Light of Hope Ministries. And then you could, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to call at 203-214-6682. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. And I want to thank you so much once thank again for, for being my pleasure. Thank you so much for being a special Absolutely. guest on today's Lady Favorite TV show on Win TV. Thank you so much to all our viewers for tuning in. Have a wonderful and safe weekend. God bless. Bye-bye.